Prior to Pepperdine, I spent five years on the ad agency side. But I knew that I wanted to get a little closer to the business. Um, I liked the creative aspect, but I knew there was kind of more to it. I started to look into business school and research the options and um, knew that it was a big investment. I was going to completely quit my job and go back to school for close to two years. So there's definitely an opportunity cost that needed to be con considered before doing that. Um, but I finally made the decision to go to Pepperdine. I came out of that um, not just having the MBA, but I had also spent a fair amount of time during the summers, especially doing both internships, but also a lot of informational interviews. I always felt like being a student, you have sort of this gift where you're able to job shadow and take people to lunch and ask questions that, um, frankly, when you're once you're in the workforce, can be a little bit harder to do. Um, you have kind of this grace that people give you. So once I graduated, um, I really set my sights on working for a CPG, a consumer packaged goods company. I ended up getting a job at Nestle. Um, so that was right after um, right after I graduated, and I was a um, brand manager there. Today, I work at Qualcomm in San Diego, and I am the global director of digital strategy. Getting the job at Nestle for me was uh, not just pivotal, but um, in my 26-year-old mind felt very, um, very much like a big achievement. I kind of had to break through the back door, if you will, and it was really um, a friend of a friend. So again, going back to the conversation around doing a lot of informational interviews and kind of researching while I was in school, that was a, there was a relationship that I had built through that, and he knew someone who had worked there for 15 years, um, wasn't even in the same department, frankly, but she was willing to sit down and have lunch with me, and then she put in an internal referral, and I, you know, obviously I still had to interview and, and, and sort of hold my own, but it was pivotal in that it really taught me the value of the data. I mean, I remember having to comb through like Nielsen research reports and build pivot tables in Excel and not just be able to analyze it, but actually be able to analyze it and make a recommendation. From a personal development perspective, I find that we are so hard on ourselves. And frankly, women often are the hardest on ourselves. Uh, most people are so much more inwardly focused. They're not worried about what's going on with you. <laughs> They're worried about what's going on with them. And so if, you, you know, if you've made a mistake or a misstep or you stumbled in a presentation or you didn't get the grade you wanted in a class or you didn't get the internship, whatever it is, honestly, just dust yourself off, you know, move on. Most people are, are not paying that close of attention. So your missteps or your, you know, quote, bad decisions or you went a certain path and it didn't work out and you had to kind of take a couple steps back, most people are not paying as much attention to that as you might think um, and certainly are not as critical of you as you might be of yourself.